Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video on one of the specific functions of an HTX powered radio. It's aimed at those of you that are relatively new to HTX, might be coming to HTX from FreeSky, Fataba, Spectrum, or maybe you're brand new to the hobby. Now there are links below to the rest of the videos in the series, as well as more advanced stuff as well. Don't forget you can find content by just looking for the thing you're interested in and adding Painless360 to your search term here on YouTube. So let's jump on the bench and let's talk about the topic for today. So this time we're going to be talking about how to add a switch onto your model. Radios like this TX16S, but lots of others, are absolutely bristling with additional controls, be it something like a switch or a rotary control, or even something like a trim. You can add these into any channel that you want to control different functions on your model. It might be turning lights on and off, dropping your tracks, activating flaps, those kind of things and adding them to an existing model is really, really easy. Now I've got a simple basic model here set up, so we're going to use that one. So we'll press the model key briefly, and then that will bring up all the pieces. Now, as with most things in HTX, there are multiple places that you can do this. However, I would recommend always add it into the mixer tab, and that's going to be in here. At the moment, I only have four simple controls set up, aileron, elevator, throttle, and rudder. So what would I do, for example, if I wanted to do something like add a switch? Well, down here at the bottom, we have the plus key. So we'll click on that and it'll ask us which channel that we want to add the new switch to. Let's add it to channel five. I would recommend giving it a name so you can remember what it does when you come in here in two months time and try and remember what you actually set it up as. We'll say yes. And then to select the source, we can either come in here and over here on the left hand side we have the option to choose what kind of source we want so that's either one of the stick inputs one of the gimbals all these other bits and pieces and you can kind of go through it all if you keep it on all at the top the way that i do it is i just move the switch that i'm interested in and that will automatically choose it from the list it makes it super easy then we'll just hit the enter key and there we have it set arming is on SG. Now at the top you can see here that there is the both the position of the switch and the output of channel 5 and they are absolutely lock stepped so the yellow and the blue bars move at exactly the same time. If we come out all the way out of that we can now see that channel 5 says arming and then if we wanted to actually see it on the screen we could do things like go into the telemetry screen we could set up the widgets, click on here, and then we can have something like the outputs. I would recommend filling the background. And there we have the output set, so I can see my main four controls, and we can see channel five moving too. If you wanted to limit the movement of that switch, so maybe it's moving too far, maybe you've got it set up something like flaps, you can absolutely do that in all the standard ways. See my other videos in the channel about limiting travel and doing things like dual rates. But that's how easy it is. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.